Hey guys, it's Adrian the Alien. Welcome back to my channel. So, it has been established that I do theater. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, performing is my purpose in life. I'm cool with that. If performing is my purpose in life, I would not be complaining. And I actually had an audition a little while ago, like a few days ago, and it got me thinking. I've auditioned so many times. Looking back at my resume, I've done so many shows. So I've obviously picked up some stuff from auditioning, and I wanted to pass this knowledge to you, young, sweet, innocent child. I don't know. Maybe it's your first audition and you're trying out for a school show. Maybe you just need some tips, and maybe this is just established knowledge. I don't know, but these are my tips to the most perfect audition. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So tip number one, choose a song that's sort of in the style of the show or kind of based around the character you're auditioning for. Is the show you're doing a more classical type show? Do a more classical type song. Does the character you're auditioning for have a lot of big belty songs? Choose a song that has a nice big belty part. Number two, have the cut of your song show the best of your ability. If the song you chose has a nice part where you could belt and you have a really nice belting voice, Maybe incorporate that into your song. I don't know why I'm just talking about belting a lot. I'm not a good belter. I'm a tenor, by the way, if you didn't know. Number three, tell a story when you're auditioning, even if it's not the story of the context to the song. That was a lot of words, let me explain. For my latest audition, I sang Perfectly Marvelous from Cabaret. Now in that song, the context is there's this girl and she's telling her boyfriend what to say when people ask how they met. Now I couldn't really say all the dialogue in the song, so the way I performed it was I was this charming young man talking about his girlfriend. Did that make more sense? I don't know. That's something my voice teacher told me. She's really cool. Just remember to have fun, be a little quirky, dance a little bit in your spot. Like, like it's not a scary thing to do. Well, it kind of is, but we'll talk about that later. Number four. Four? Number four. Know the audition song like the back of your hand. Knowing the song really well shows that you put a lot of hard work and it'll really impress the auditioners. I practice in front of my mirror so I can look at my posture and my mannerisms and stuff like that. Also, do a mock audition. Have your friends or your family or your goldfish, I don't know, set them down and audition as if they were the auditioner. And then they'll give you critiques. I have to deal with that all the time. Number five, mark in your sheet music where you want the song to start and where you want it to end. This is usually a mandatory thing, but you will not believe how many people forget to do this. I mark it in big blue pen, a huge start and a huge end, and it's actually really helpful for whoever's playing or accompanying you during your audition. Also, put your sheet music in those sheet protectors. It'll keep them a lot nicer and they won't rip when the accompaniment is like whipping them around. Number six, please, for the love of God, warm up, just warm up. Once you get out of bed, on the way to the audition, while you're waiting for the audition, just warm up. No one's gonna judge you for wanting to be prepared. Drink plenty of water. Oh my God, I will not stress this enough. Water is my savior. And also stay away from dairy. I didn't know how many people didn't know this, but dairy actually makes you really phlegmy and clogs up your throat a little bit, especially milk. So before your audition, don't drink any milk. Number seven, when you're in front of your auditioners, speak slowly and clearly, and even if you're a little nervous, fake it till you make it. Number eight, know who you're auditioning for. If you know your auditioner or director is kind of a funny, like, wah, kind of person, maybe you pop a few jokes, you know, lighten the mood, but if you know if your auditioner is very strict, business, just wants to get you in and out, keep it business, keep it, sing your song, do what you gotta do, and get out. For example, when I went in for my last audition, I was a little bit dressed up, and my director was like, oh, you look really nice, what's the occasion? And I was like, this! And that got a laugh, so that made me feel really good. Also, filler is not really the best in these situations. You don't wanna strike up a huge conversation. Just keep it to, hi, my name is this, and I will be singing this from this show. Stuff like that. <laughs> Number nine, if you are not required to dance for your audition, it wouldn't hurt to look a little bit nice. Like, 
nice shirt, nice pants, don't look like you're homeless, please and thank you. If you do have to dance, however, wear comfortable clothing, like sweatpants or joggers or leggings and a nice comfortable t-shirt and a hoodie or literally what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Just wear clothes you can move around in and also dancing is the most intimidating part of any audition or callback. Personally, I'm not a dancer. <laughs> I like to dance, I'm just not that good at it, but as long as you do what your uh, choreographer tells you to do, and you just have some fun, that's all they really look for. Number 10. I think this is my most important tip I could possibly give. Don't be nervous. I know, I know, you're probably still going to be nervous, but that means you actually care about doing well. But. Don't really tell people that you're nervous because it'll only amplify your nervousness and people can take advantage of that and it's not great. Confidence is key and fake it till you make it especially. And last but not least, have fun. I cannot stress this enough. Oh, and 100% be yourself. Don't be the extra polite version of yourself that's like, ooh, director's pet. No, no one wants that. Be your true authentic self. Don't be a dick though, like no one wants you to be a dick. Literally everyone messes up, but if you don't really give it away that you mess up, your auditioner probably won't know. Auditions are super great and super important because it can give you a space to present yourself in a usually closed off environment, which can also really help your confidence and help you elevate yourself. Even if you don't get the part you want or even if you don't get cast, you still auditioned for the sake of auditioning, and now you're a better auditioner, right? So I hope you found these tips super handy and maybe you'll use them sometime. Break a leg on your next audition, and if you're thinking about auditioning for a show, totally try it, like I push yourself. It will be so worth it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below your best audition tips. Subscribe if you want to. I post stuff like this. And uh, yeah, all my social media links are in the description below. I'm Adrian the Alien. Break a leg.